Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Planted Carly Flower. I'm Carly, and today we are gonna be talking about some hard to care for Hoyas. Some Hoyas I would not recommend for beginners, and I would not recommend to someone who cannot give the proper conditions, because these Hoyas will just not thrive for you otherwise. So sit back, hit that like button, and let's talk about those Diva Hoyas. To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Okay, guys, so some hard to care for Hoyas. Let's talk all about them. You know, we love a good diva. And sometimes the harder to care for ones are the most rewarding ones to care for. So I have a list of just a few here that will give you a hard time if you don't give them everything that they require. So the first one on my list is Hoya Maniparensis. This guy is a little difficult to take care of. Um, it requires a specific set of watering schedules. It does not like to dry out, but it also does not like to be too wet. So unless you can figure out the watering schedule before you kill the plant, um, you're gonna have some problems. It does love high humidity. I'm talking 70s or 80%. So you need like a greenhouse cabinet or some terrarium or something like that to keep it happy. It does sun stress really beautifully though. So if you can figure out its care, it will reward you with some gorgeous deep burgundy leaves, kind of like the one in my picture. Um, I did unfortunately just sell my Manu Princess because I was kind of just tired of the plant. But the care, once I got it down, was super simple. I just had to remember to water it on the day it needed to be watered and it pretty much thrived for me. But yeah, Hoya Manuprensis, the first diva on our list. The next diva on our list is going to be Hoya Sigillatus. She will drop a leaf if you look at her funny. I'm serious. Water the plant, put her in a corner, never look at her again. She does not like to be moved, so moving her from space to spot to place in your cabinet will, will have her drop leaves eventually. She likes to stay stagnant and still. Um, she does like the same kind of watering as a menu princess. She doesn't necessarily like to dry out fully, but definitely don't overwater her. She will throw a fit and drop all of her leaves. And that's pretty much her diva move, is to drop leaves. So it's really sad when you open up your cabinet and you see little, little sigillatus leaves at the bottom because she just kind of gave up on life and she's like, Nope, 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 nope. It went one degree too cold. Here's all my leaves and just she throws a fan. So uh, yeah, definitely figure out that watering schedule. Try not to move her in your cabinet too often. I move her only when I need to get to the plants that are behind her. She does not like to be trellised. Putting her on a trellis will cause her to throw a little bit of a fit. I'm not saying she cannot be trained to go on a trellis, but she is absolutely a hanging plant and looks beautiful hanging. So. I, I, I don't even know why I would trellis her because she's happy trailing and if she's happy trailing I'm happy to leave her that way. Um, she is a bit of a slow grower but once she's happy she really will take off for you so don't be too worried about that. She likes to be a little root bound so just keep her warm in lots of humidity again 70 to 80 percent humidity seems to do her just fine. Keep her warm and don't move her a lot and you'll probably be all right. Another difficult to care for Hoya for a lot of people is Hoya Weimanii. Um, I have a Weimanii Borneo and I love that plant. Um, I figured out the watering schedule pretty well because I already had the Menu Princess and the Sigillatus, so I was kind of aware of like what I needed to do to keep this plant watered. And it has put out several leaves for me. It does just seem to be in somewhat of a stunted growth pattern right now. I haven't gotten any new leaves in a while, but I'm also not losing any leaves, so I'm figuring it's okay, it's just taking its time. Um, she might need to be fertilized, honestly, but we'll see. Um, she does get beautiful deep burgundy leaves when you sun stress her, so she's absolutely worth all the extra love and attention that you have to give her. And her leaves are a little fuzzy and velvety, which is kind of different from other Hoyas. So she's absolutely worth giving a shot to if you feel like you are ready to step your game up and get a little bit more of a hard to take care of Hoya. Um, she's beautiful, so if you can stomach the high price tag they typically come with or get a cutting from someone and deal with the uh, watering schedule that she requires, to be good to go. She also does like a lot of humidity and warmth. She, all these plants live in my Millsboro greenhouse because anywhere else they're probably not gonna do as great. 
Okay, another hard to care for Hoya that I have in my collection is Hoya Dakii. Now this plant definitely likes to be warm, humid, and does not like to be overwatered. Um, I definitely tend to underwater this plant because that seems to be what it likes the best. Um, it's hard to grow new growth on this plant. Um, the new growth drops fairly frequently. And if I'm being honest, it doesn't necessarily seem to be an indication that you're doing anything wrong because one of my new leaves will drop, I will continue the exact same care, and the next leaf will make it through just fine. It, 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 there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason to it. All I would say is keep it warm and humid and absolutely do not overwater it. I wait till the leaves are a little bit bendy and then I go ahead and water it um, because I feel like that's the best course of action and it has been working for me thus far. I'm getting a beautiful tendril and two new leaves coming in. So far, so good. Um, it is a very slow grower for me currently. I haven't had it more than a few months, but it's already growing, so I must be doing something kind of okay with it. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed that I don't drop any more leaves and that she remains happy and healthy because when she becomes a big, beautiful plant, there's nothing better looking than a Hoya Dekii. I can guarantee you she's beautiful. Another hard to care for Hoya is absolutely Hoya imbricata. This plant requires a specific set of conditions to really thrive. It has to have high humidity. I'm talking like 80 to 90% for the imbricata. It likes it warm in the 80s and it does require a lot more water than the other plants. Um, it requires things to climb on or up like a moss pole or a plank or something like that. And it, like I said, it just needs a lot more water than the other ones. I found putting this plant in Lekka or Pond to work best for me because then it can drink all that it wants and I don't have to worry about making sure I water it on a specific schedule. I've also heard that these plants do well in a moss, in um, sphagnum moss, but I've never kept mine in sphagnum moss. That's just what I've heard. So if you're having a trouble with any other um, substrate, try moss. Maybe that'll be the magic cure for you guys. But uh, yeah, she likes to climb, so she will require you to make and or buy something for her to climb up of. Um, I am getting a terrarium soon. I think I'm going to move her into the terrarium and give her something to climb once I move her in there and see if she thrives for me. She has put out several leaves and I do mist her periodically. This is one Hoya I do recommend misting from time to time. I'm not saying keep her soaking wet every day because you're going to get bacteria that way. But I do mist her probably two to three times a week and she seems to really like that. This plant also likes bright, bright light. Not direct light, but the brightest you can get without the, the sun actually touching its leaves. Um, I put her directly about eight inches under a grow light and she seems pretty happy with that. Um, but yeah, the, light, the brighter light you can give her without actually touching the sun to her leaves, the happier she's gonna be. Okay guys, that is all the diva, hard to take care of Hoyas in my collection. Well, not all of them, but the, my favorites. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, or you have any extra care tips you'd like to give people, absolutely drop those in the description so we can all chat and have a good discussion. I really appreciate you guys giving any other information that you have that I may have missed. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can also find me in the description, or the comment section as well. Please follow me on Instagram and or TikTok. I am down on there. I'm also on TikTok um, for my weight loss. So if you're interested in following my weight loss journey, I have a TikTok for that too. It's the Shrinking Carly Flower. I'll put it in the description box down below if you're interested in following my weight loss journey. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have an absolute great rest of your day and don't forget to spend lots of quality time today with your plants. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.